Under Trump, this kind of government will perish from the earth. I don't mean to scare you. No, no, wait, maybe I do mean to scare you. You're gonna have to do better than that. Oh boy, you always know you're in for a normal one when an elderly, washed up lunatic actor shows up wearing a COVID mask outside to give a rambling hate speech. Hello and welcome back, thanks for watching. Since Biden's DOJ indicted Donald Trump on 91 vague, clearly partisan political charges just before an election, our totally not state-run media keeps insisting that none of this is political or an attempt to rig the election and that Biden has absolutely nothing to do with it. But also, here's Joe Biden's campaign to influence the jurors just before they deliver a verdict using one of the worst TD stricken lunatics in this country. I mean, this is really, even these people over here are kind of, it's kind of crazy. It's really crazy, and this, this thing, Donald Trump, has created this. He should be telling them not to do this, but he's just... He sounded a bit like a dictator. For these low lives, for Trump! They lied under oath. Who lied under oath? What are you, what are you telling me? Excuse me? They lied under oath? What are you saying? They're, tra they're traitors. Did I stutter? You gotta, I don't know, I don't even know how to deal with you, my friend. I don't even know how to deal with you. Well. That's because you're an idiot. I need to say something about the judge in this case, who is clearly just trying to get a conviction no matter what. Who apparently said to the jurors that to convict Trump of felonies, the jury does not need to unanimously agree on what predicate crime he committed. Now I'm not a lawyer and I know next to nothing about the justice system, but according to people who do, like Greta Van Susteren, she says that this is completely wrong and that the jury must be unanimous on every element. It seems pretty clear that they just wanna get that conviction, which which will no doubt be overturned on appeal later on. But in the meantime, they and the Democrat state media can keep calling him a felon. But yeah, none of this is authoritarian or anti-democracy or election interference. It's different now. It's just wild how little these people like De Niro actually know about these issues they're so supposedly passionate about. Under Trump, this kind of government will perish from the earth. No. I don't mean to scare you. No, no, wait, maybe I do mean to scare you. Very convincing, but... If Trump returns to the White House, you can kiss these freedoms goodbye that we all take for granted. And elections, forget about it. That's over, that's done. If he gets in, I can tell you right now, he will never leave. He will never leave. You know that. He will never leave. <coughs> Absolute, uncut, steaming bullshit. There is no way that Donald Trump could ever be a dictator in this country. In order for Trump to pull any of that off, he would have to have the institutions supporting him, and he doesn't, clearly. But the people who do have that power, Joe Biden and the Democrats, are getting support to do authoritarian actions. Think about it, they're doing all the things the bad guy authoritarians would do. They're trying to imprison their biggest opponent to rig the election in their favor based on a bunch of trumped up charges that are never gonna survive appeal. Something that nobody has ever done before, folks. Nobody has ever indicted a president, much less to keep him from being president before an election. That's exactly what the authoritarian dictator would do. Yeah, yeah. 
but it's different. But you got to understand that these people are convinced that it's not that because they're the ones doing it and they're doing it for a very good reason. They really hate Donald Trump. And if they really hate their political opponent and they're convinced that they're really dangerous, well, they should be able to imprison them and rig elections and just take total control. Of course, if their opponents try to do that, then it would be wrong. Then it would be fascist and authoritarian because they don't have the same rationalizations as we do. If you're wondering what any of that has to do with democracy, well then you haven't been brainwashed yet and there's still hope for you. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments and if you're still here, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.